I am talking to Caitlin Shadbolt, whose album Stages was released in 2020, and her latest single is Lost On Me, mm -hmm. and it telegraphs some new music to come. Hello, Caitlin. Yes, correct. Hello, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Yes, and uh, Lost On Me is a tribute to your partner, Matt Smith, and yeah. he also produced it. <laughs> You yeah. must have been very flattered in both capacities. Yes, um, that was an experience, let's put it <laughs> that way. So yeah, I wrote the song about Matt and then we recorded it together and it was the first song that we'd kind of co-produced together. This was a whole new project we decided for this upcoming um, record. Let's do it together, let's co-produce it, challenge ourselves. We've got a studio at home that we built during the pandemic. Um, so it was quite ironic because at times when we were, you know, getting frustrated with each other, <laughs> In, as couples do I was kind of like that's exactly what this song is about you know like you drive me up the wall but I love you and I'm so grateful you're spending all this time getting this this song together um, but you're still a pain in my butt <laughs> But now the single is from your forthcoming third album, which yeah. you've said was a pandemic project. Yeah. But you released your second album, Stages, in November 2020. And I remember when I talked to you then, talking about how you recorded it from home and you mentioned that studio. So yeah. clearly you did not spend the pandemic feeling at a loss. You actually got really creative. Yeah. So, I mean, I had those songs ready to roll and I was like, I'd waited, you know, probably three years or something between records. So I was like rain hail shine pandemic i'm i'm rec like releasing this record yeah. so yeah we made it happen in 2020 and then um did what we could with it and yeah so for this next one we just said let's take a step above again and and um, do it ourselves so when did you start writing for this third album um to be honest pretty much all through the lockdowns and things like that um and in the gaps between when things would open up but yeah this this record and look it's still not completely written to be honest um, I'm really just kind of taking it song by song and just kind of, yeah, finessing it and seeing what comes together and, and also just what comes out because some songs just have spilled out of me and I go like, oh, wow, there you go. That's what I was feeling. And I, I feel like it, it kind of fits into the, the next puzzle piece. And I remember talking to you in 2020 about the technical skills you developed having <laughs> to record from home and, yeah. and learning all of that. So are you still using those recording um, things? Yes and no. So... Matt has definitely taken on a lot of that stuff, which is cool. Um, and because the, the studio has very much expanded, right. um, it was just a little, you know, space in our, the spare room of our house. Mm -hmm. Now it's a fully fledged, fully functional, not in our house, but on our property um, recording studio. So, and there's some expensive gear in there. And I'm like, you know what? I don't want to touch that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. if I break that, that's a lot of money. <laughs> Are you thinking of recording other people or have you been recording other people? Uh, we have actually. We did, um, well, we, meaning Matt, recorded all of um, Brad Cox's um, vocals oh, for his, his next record. Um, and we've done some Sandy White stuff. Wow. We, we have done some stuff for sure. Yeah, so, so we're working on it. Building your own little... Yeah, a little you know, boutique things. studio, yeah. you know? Yeah. Which is great. Yeah. Um, now... Lost On Me, mm. this new single, was written with Melanie Dyer, yeah. and you two also wrote Dumb Decisions together. Yeah. You sing on Dumb Decisions, yeah. and it's on Melanie's album. Correct. Um, what do you enjoy about writing with Melanie? It's just so fun. And oh, you know what? Like We are great friends, but as songwriters, I feel like we just know where we're headed. Um, and we've got similar styles, and we both kind of are pedantic about similar things, you know, with phrasing and trying to fit all these words and syllables into this space. So I feel like we, um, yeah, we just click on that level. Yeah. And and also because we are such good friends, I can just say, oh look, this is how I'm feeling. No shame. And she'll go, yeah, cool. Let's unpack that and yeah. put it in the song. So as I said, dumb decisions is on her album. Will it end up on your album as well? Yes, it will. I think it makes sense. And look, it might be a bonus track. It might be just one of the tracks. I'm not 100% sure yet. But yeah, it'll be on the record for sure. And I remember uh, from your last album that you collaborated with people like Sarah Buckley on the yeah. writing. So are there any previous connections that you're making again to write? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I've got songs that I'm recording at the moment um, that I wrote with Sarah Buckley. Oh, so okay. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I, honestly, and I think the pandemic also kind of taught me that um, at the end of the day, there's a, just a handful of people that if you just love and adore and you connect with, then why not just stick with that? Yeah. Um, so that's kind of what I'm doing for this record. I'm writing a lot of stuff on my own and then doing stuff with Mel and Sarah Buckley and, and a couple other writers that I love and, and kind of keeping it at that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now you are on the road with Melanie at the time we're speaking. Yeah. It must feel like a relief to be out playing again. It is. It's so nice. It's weird because yes, we're working, but it feels like a fun little adventure holiday kind of vibe. 
Uh, look, we're only on show two, so <laughs> ask me again in another six, we'll see. Um, but yeah, it's been, it's really good, yeah. And it, you know, I, I think last year we had a show here, and I had a show there, and then there was long gaps between, whereas this, this tour feels like an actual tour, so yeah, it's cool. And what's on for the rest of the year? This tour pretty much will we'll take us up to November and then um, more studio time and then before you know it, it's Christmas and I'm knocking off. <laughs> yeah, and then it's Tamworth. That's yeah, that, that's right. And then yeah. we're on to the next year. Yeah. Well, Caitlin, well, I love Stages, um, your previous you. album. I'm very much looking forward to the new album. Thank and you. And congratulations on the great song. Yeah, cheers. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Bye.